Jal said. your terminal pathfinder. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader. Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai, <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <laughs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. That's why he hates aliens. Yes. He... suffered greatly. When Axul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant. Or anything. Except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Axul's not the type to follow orders. And... I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. More of a reason to set things straight before they get out of hand. I don't think Axul will listen to you. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home, I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havaro who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Tholdir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point. Move your arm again? Readings won't change, Doc. Your prosthetics are sinking properly. Your neuropathy-induced pain levels are... consistent. Hey, I'm used to it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You keep fighting smart, you hear me? You don't have much left in terms of organ redundancies. <clears throat> Nah, it's fine. I don't mind. Everything okay? This looks like... a lot. It is a lot. Just nothing he didn't already know about. What do you mean? He's fine, just... old. And missing too many parts. And too stubborn for his own good. You love me just the way I am, Doc. Hmm... Don't get off that table until the scan is done. Can I... ask what happened? Arm, side, hip, part of my leg. Strain balancing threading across my spine. It's all prosthetics and implants. That's... a lot. Made it through the Krogan rebellions. Watched my culture disintegrate. Survived centuries as a merc. And all sorts of pirate shenanigans. 
2,000 years of combat experience, all it took was one idiot with a pack of frag grenades. But you're here, still standing. You survived. Yeah, but surviving ain't always living. I hit some dark moments. Implant rejection after implant rejection. Prosthetics not sinking properly. Everything hurt. A lot. All the time. No purpose to anything. How did you deal with it? I didn't. I fell right into that pit. Almost. But then some shaman shows up, drops the tiniest little baby girl in my lap. This one's dying, he said. Not worth the trouble, he says. Useless is what he meant. That's awful. It's practical, Krogan. Gave me a purpose again. Wasn't just about me anymore, so I got help. Learned how to take care of myself, take care of her. And she took care of me. He found a way to live again. We sure did. Wasn't easy on either of us. I'm old, stuck in my ways, and Cash... Cash has wanted to change everything since she could talk. Raising Cash taught me an important lesson. What was it? Took me a while to figure it out. But it's important. Parents aren't meant to be a goal, or a finish line. We're the starting line. Where you go from there, it's all you. Remember that. <laughs>